okay, this is a lesson piece for Samuel. The old rugged cross. This isn't on my website. I can't post this one because it's under copyright, but I'll go through it fairly slow and try and teach it to you even if you don't have the music here. Mm -hmm. But Samuel, listen for the, leg the legato, hopefully, the connectedness of the melody line. Okay, that's pretty close to the basic written out version. Um, I, I, and, and I usually don't play this the same way every time. So uh, a couple things to think about here. Again, the important thing is to, two things, the legato, the connecting the melody line. So it sounds like on a hill far away, not on a hill, Far away, stood. So you want that melody line on the guitar to be connected and to flow just like if it was being sung. The other thing is you want to keep that bass note down, the full value. Um, otherwise, it. So if it was. Uh, broken up and it's not connected like it would be if it was uh, holding the bass down and trying to connect the, the notes in the melody. are written in G, da da da, and then the C sharp, da, da, G, with the D melody. Slide on the little finger, up to the fourth fret, and then play your C chord. And then grab that D sharp, and when you're doing that, you gotta keep the C down. You can't cheat, and you gotta keep these notes down too, or it doesn't sound as nice. And the trick to that is in the elbow and the wrist. That, um, in order to be able to play a C chord and get this note down, you have to bring the wrist up and tuck your elbow in. And then that brings your hand around to the side and you can get a lot larger stretch that way. So, you watch my rich wrist come in, right there. I'm gonna D chord, and then thirds here on the second and third string. I'm playing six now and I slide them. And then it repeats again. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Use that wrist. 
just again. Slide up to the these thirds way up here on the, the uh, eighth and tenth fret with the first and third finger, then first and second finger on the seventh and eighth fret. And I'm actually droning the G, I hit the, the D bass as I'm going up. And then I drone the G note. And then the G chord. Now when you're coming off this to make that legato, you can kind of like slide this first finger down and or you can just be fast. But it's hard to do that. I can do it sometimes. Where it almost sounds like legato, but there is a break there. You can't help but have some break. But if you do this, that slide, it, it helps cover up that break. Little trick there. And then the second half, so I my first finger now on the second fret, slide, second to third fret. And then I go, go up to this D chord, which on the seventh, fifth fret and seventh fret, first finger on the fifth, second and third fingers on the seventh. And then bass, open G, slide that down two frets to. And then this G you're gonna finger differently. This G you gotta use your little finger here, bring your second finger over for the bass. Because you gotta be able to play this B flat in here. That little figure, that's the alto line, I think. So that's, that's, uh, so, so. And the C chord. And then you bring tenths here down. And then G with the B the bass and then grab the G. And that same little slide I did earlier. So you get the, the G with the B in the melody, grab, and bring your first finger up and, and get ready to play this G chord up here. That looks, it's, it's just a D shifted up to the seventh fret. So, I change it to a D7 shape. And then you're gonna slide down on the first finger, slide into the C. Because you've got to go from here to here to make that legato. You hear it? So that fills the gap and, and gives you the illusion of a legato. So. Like Brim, bring the wrist in. you got to get that D sharp. Just like you did in the first line. And jump up to the eighth and the tenth fret, and then down into that G chord, reach down to the little finger, grab the tenth fret on the second string, and then lift it off, and then you're going to slide down to the D real quick, go up those thirds, and that's the old rugged cross. Now you can do things with this. Um, you can play it with a shuffle rhythm. So if you don't like it that way, you can do it more of a country. Set glissando. Second, third finger.
come off the ending. Jazz it up however you like. Anyway, enjoy. All rugged cross.